Welcome to my channel David Tech. In previous videos I show you how to download your BLE if you have the latest firmware of Xiaomi. Uh, that will allow you to create and upload your own custom firmware. In the today's video I will show you how to modify all the parameters in three different ways so you can have your own firmware. If you want to see the previous video I will leave you here a card. Just click on it and you will, you will see how easy it is to do it. Uh, no more talking, I just let you with the video. See you at the end. Bye. Well, first we go to this website, hackm365.com. We have several options to create our custom firmware. Uh, we are going to check the M365 Pro Faces. This is in a Spanish website, but it's very complete. I want to show you in this website uh, the different possibilities to, to do the custom, custom firmware. So uh, here, as you see, you can do it with the constant power of the engine and modifying the current. Uh, here in this other website, which is in English, you only can uh, modify the currents for the sport, mo sport mode. You cannot uh, create your own firmware uh, using the constant. So first of all, let's go to this back to this site. Uh, go to the files. Go to documents hack. And here you will find uh, powers constant calculator. So if you open this, you you see that the default power for the scooter is 51,000. You can choose uh, your hour power constant, let's say 44,000, and you will get the current values that you need to add for your custom firmware. 44,000 is a very safe number, and you don't have you won't have any problem. You will get the values for sport and drive mode as well for the brake lever. So let's create our custom firmware with uh, 44,000 as a power constant. Let's go to the website to the N365 Pro Faces, which is for the current modification. Uh, first of all, I will uh, disable the curves. Uh, you put a high value, 40, that means that it won't be enabled until you reach 40, which is impossible, so it will be off. Better for safety for the, mod for the engine. Here I will modify the maximum speed to 37 to remove the limitation and the current. I will enable the hack, copy the values that the calculator provided to us, the maximum current and the minimum as well. And this will give more power to the sport mode. But as I said, it's safe. I tested myself and for more than one year and works fine. Here I modify the maximum speed for the drive mode. I will increase a little bit, but uh, at least at this point of time, you cannot modify the current for the drive mode. As well, the echo mode, you can't modify. Uh, the lever, the brake lever, as you see in the calculator, you have some values, which basically means that uh, the curves will uh, be enabled depending on how hard you press the lever. So if you put 130, that means that you will have to press very hard the lever to, act to enable the curves. As well, the minimum current for, for go uh, live and the maximum. I'm modifying according with the calculator, but this is not important. You can just leave it as default and you will be fine. Uh, this is the minimum speed to start working when you kick off. And then a few little tweaks that you can do, like the limits of the voltage. So when the battery by default is 34, will uh, reduce the power. I'm modifying to 30, so uh, up to 30 the power will, the scooter will have the power fully from the engine. And here this is important for people using the 10 inches uh, tires. For default, this is uh, the setup is uh, 
is for the 8.5 inches wheels, but if you enable this hack and you put 315, the firmware will be customized for your 10 inches tires. That's very important if you have changed your tires. After modify all the parameters, we only have to finish the, the firmware. And for that, you need to click on this button here and you will get the file that you can uh, later on update to your scooter. Let's use the English website. In this one, we have a few less options, but you can use it as well. Here I will do the same stuff. I will disable the curves. This is a, totally up to you. As I said, this is for custom firmware. You can just try different values and see how uh, the values works for you. Depends on your weight, if you have a lot of after heels or not, you need to modify the values. Those values that I'm uh, putting here are working for me. I'm quite heavy and the scooter is going fine. As well, as higher as you go with the power in the sport mode, the more battery will be consumed. So you need to find the balance for yourself. As you can see here, not all the options are available in this website to create your custom firmware. So it's up to you to use this website or the other one. Uh, maybe the, the first one that we saw, even though it's in Spanish only or French or Russian, it's really easy to use and you will have uh, way more options to, to create your own firmware custom. If you have any doubt with the Spanish, you just can leave a comment and I will be more than happy to, to solve the doubt. When you create your firmware here, you click on patch and you will have the file as well. And now, now we are going to try the third way to create uh, the custom firmware. We are going to use the power constant. So what, first of all, I want to show you the calculator. Uh, you have the Excel file. And you have this website that I will leave the link below. Uh, when you are this very simple, you need to put the constant power that you want to uh, transform and you will get the values. As you can see, it's exactly the same as the Excel file. Both are giving the same results, so you can use, use both. You will have the links below. And you can change to the N360 normal, not the Pro as well. This calculator has both models. Let's go to the Pro. Let's try a different value. Let's say 30,000. 30,000, as you see, is uh, marking red. That means that it's not safe for the engine. The, the bats are going over 1,500, which can burn your scooter. So I would say that they stay over 38, 40 minimum if you want to have a, a healthy scooter for a long time. I always try to be safe and go around 42, 40, 44. So let's go to the tab for the power constant. It's basically the same. You can choose different uh, setups. Uh, I will choose Conga, for example, which is the 1.5.5. As you can see, I'm not changing the, the, the current because I don't have the option here because we are going to change the power constant, which will affect all the modes in the scooter. That's why I would recommend to use the current way to do it because it's only affecting the sport mode. It will be safer for your scooter. Anyway, here you, when you have uh, the power constant by default is 51,000 and you have different options uh, as saying there that you have to be over 38,000 for safety. So as I said before, over 40, you should be fine. I will try with 44, 42. It's usually what I'm using and it's uh, tested for, for a long time and it's working just fine. Uh, you can modify more tweaks, few tweaks here, the battery level as well. And then you, clock, you click on 
this button here and you will have again the file. So now you need to go back to your N365 down G app, connect your scooter, select the file you want your custom firmware and click on flash bin. The app will start loading the file to the scooter. In a few seconds you will have your custom firmware version for your scooter up and running. You see there are different ways to do it. Uh, there are two websites mainly. One is uh, in Spanish, Russian and French, but you have a lot of options there. So it's kind of uh, very handy. Uh, the other one, the English one, uh, only allows you to modify the current as you saw in the video, but it's still working as well. I would recommend to try different values, uh, try the scooters on the street and see what uh, works the best for you. If you have any doubt, or you have any problem, just let me know in the comments and if you like the video, please subscribe and ring the bell. So that will help me a lot to continue with these videos. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.